So, YouTube Shorts or TikTok if you're an e-girl. Chances are you've seen a bunch or maybe even posted a few. You spend hours scrolling them. Chances are along the way, you've seen this poor bastard's face, Buckshot Roulette. The premise is really simple. It's Russian roulette, but with a shotgun right under your chin. Presumably, you're wagering your soul with this demon in the chance to win millions and millions of dollars in this deadly game. So, I'll get right to the meat and potatoes. I'll tell you exactly why this game is so successful on YouTube Shorts and TikTok. Right after this message from our sponsor. Oh, we're too small for a sponsor. Subscribe. So anyway, Buckshot Roulette. Successful? Why? One word. Gambling. Every decision you make in this game is a gamble. Sure, there are some strategies and logic you can use to try and rationalize out your approach, but at the end of the day, when you pull that trigger, your fate is decided by luck. Each new squeeze of the trigger is a new roll of the dice as you sit there on the toilet watching your favorite streamer or YouTuber trying to survive this hazardous game. Each new round, a set of shells is loaded into the shotgun in a random order, and that means that rounds can be typically played in 30 seconds or even less. It's really the perfect time frame to be successful on a YouTube short or TikTok. But let me be real for a sec. If this game was just Russian roulette with a shotgun, it wouldn't be so successful. So what's the twist? What's the X factor driving this game forward? Well, it's the power-ups. The first round you play with the demon is pretty vanilla. But after that, each round, you get a new set of power-ups to help you through your gauntlet. A magnifying glass to see the next shell, a beer can to unload it. Maybe that shell is live, so you want to saw off the barrel of your shotgun and do double damage. Other than that, you've got a pair of handcuffs which lock the demon and skip its next turn, and a pack of cigarettes which can heal you back up one health. Ironic, I know. So it's this back and forth battle, both you and the demon with power ups and this shotgun to fire to try and win Russian roulette. It's the ultimate combination of chance and strategy in a short form little ball. And with all this going on, it gives ample opportunity for big brain or big ball plays. Can you beat out chance and statistics? Well, I don't know. That's why you stick around and watch. You don't know what's gonna happen next. It stokes up your curiosity and keeps you on the edge of your seat. And why don't you scroll past it in the first place? Well, it's cool little unique details like its pixelated art style, booming Russian hard bass in the background, and the truly unsettling appearance of the demon sitting across from you. I mean, look how terrifying this freeze frame is. It kind of has the whole package as small as that package may be. It's actually kind of a cool case study to see how short form content brought this game from the depths of the internet into relative infamy. It only even launched on Steam a few days ago. When I was researching this video and when I first wanted to play the game, I had to track it down on itch.io of all places. I mean, talk about obscure. So yeah, for a game that small, it's done pretty well for itself. And although the game is super short and super simple, I'm gonna pull a map pad and look a little deeper. Let me tell you a story. The second time I sat down and played Buckshot Roulette, I got hit with a wave of emotions I really wasn't expecting. I was sat there, calculating my next move, and it suddenly dawned upon me. This silly little game that I was playing was an allegory for any passion project or any goal really you have in life. This YouTube channel, for example, or the game I'm making with my team, will they be successful? Hell if I know. It's all down to chance. It's all down to that one pull of the trigger. And when it comes to making YouTube videos and making games, I have all these tools laid out in front of me. I can use them to try and predict the future or make my next move better. I can try and calculate my next move to the best of my ability, but at the end of the day, it's all left up to a coin toss. And I think that can be said about a lot of things. We're all just here trying to win our own coin toss, however big or small that might be. The only thing helping us through this journey are our tools. They're the only thing that can really give us comfort along this road. Back to the game. Once you beat the third level, it ends. And you're left with this somber, sobering ending scene as you drive past streetlight after streetlight. 
melancholy music playing in the background as you can see all the money you've won and the shotgun you used to do it on the front seat of the car. It's an oddly refreshing and succinct moment at the end of this game. A nice little bow to wrap it all up. Those small little things are what truly make me appreciate and love little projects like this. Shout out to Mike Kludnicka, the creator of the game. I would encourage you to go and buy it now if you haven't. It's a cool little journey Mike's made, and now millions of YouTube Shorts watchers can see part of that journey and maybe even take part in it themselves. Oof, that got a little bit heavier than I was expecting towards the end, honestly. But I don't know if you caught it, that second half of the video wasn't meant to be taken negatively. Because everything's a coin flip, it means you can just keep trying over and over again. Just because you lose versus the big game of chance in life doesn't mean you shouldn't try, try, and try again. You shouldn't be afraid of failure, sure. It can be scary to confront the idea of how much of our lives is truly left up to chance. But just think about this. Whatever goal or idea or dream you have in mind, there's a correct set of actions or set of words that you can do, say, and take that will lead you down that road, that will take you where you want to be. So just be focused on that and do the best you can. All we have are our tools, and all we can do is use them. In the meantime, I'm going to keep chasing my dreams. And you, dear viewer, I wish you luck with yours. Goodbye.